saying is that we should question and interrogate every member of the order just to figure out who the traitor is. And what if one of the interrogators is the traitor? Uh, well, we could take it in turns and make everyone even more suspicious of each other. I think you of all people would want the traitor found after what happened to Marlene. Marlene wouldn't want us all each other's throats like this. <sighs> of course, there could always be someone who isn't here. Serious? You appear to have an owl. Someone could be accidentally telling a family member. Uh, the, the Longbottoms do spend an awful amount of time with Augusta. Where are us, Peter? Don't you think we know how to keep information in that? It's from Remus. He's coming back in two days. Last day of bachelorhood, eh, Padford? Hardly. <laughs> you might call me confirm bachelor. <laughs> One of these days we might get you really to confirm it in front of the world. What, and give everyone another reason not to hire Remus? Maybe just a few friends then. <sighs> I do love a wedding. Is that why you were so terrified at your own? No, that was because old Sniveller showed up with flowers for Lily that morning. Creep. What did he part his hair right down the center? Use a bunch of extra stoke grease. <laughs> and he said he made some half apology about why he couldn't come to the wedding and booked it. <laughs> Neither through the flowers, in her face. Lily's mom's glad you chose you then. <laughs> her mom was extra nice to me that day. You know, she even smiled at me. Not a word about the tattoos. Petunia about had a heart attack though. Remember how her face scrunched up like she just sucked a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Torturing a muggle family, and we stopped them. But Gideon went down with the fight. But Fabian, at least it was quick. But you, you seem to have come away all right. The aura separated in, and the Death Eaters were gone, just like that. I don't think a single one of them was gone. Have you told Molly yet? No. I figure the Ministry will sort it out. I'm not the town crier, Remus. It's past noon. You mean to tell me that you were fighting all night and you came away with a bloody nose? I thought you'd be happy that I was alive. And I thought you'd be here when I got home. I can't help what Dumbledore sends me. So Sirius didn't seem off, did he, when you got there? I mean, I didn't watch too closely. He, yeah, was happy to see us and excited and hyped up on adrenaline, no doubt, and 
certainly itching for revenge. When I told him to go home, he kind of held his head out to the Pruitts, like, like he didn't want to be near him, and hopped on his bike, and... Hold on, you, you're not actually suspecting him. I don't want to. Then don't. Moody might want us all spying on each other, but I think a little trust might get us all killed. He's your roommate, Remus. Might. Might. Roommate. And you noticed first if something was up? I was gone for two months. All I'm saying is this. If I suspected Alice, every single time she came home late from work, we'd both be in a lot more danger. Sirius might be a little too eager to fight sometimes, you know, reckless sometimes, but there's no doubt where his heart is. Have you brought this up with Sirius? Oh, certainly. Honey, are you working for you know who? Not a big deal, I'm just curious. No, James, of course not. <laughs> He's made himself very scarce since I got back, and I've hardly had occasion to speak with him. He missed you, Remus. You know how he gets. Did he say anything strange while I was gone? No more than usual. Although... Although what? He did talk about you more. More than he usually does when you're gone. What did he say about me? You're not getting his secrets out of me. It's just that I'm so afraid of losing him. Why? Well, I figure he's been with me because it was just easier. We've been through so much together, and I figure once the war's over, he could have his pick. And he'd still pick you a million times. Sincerest apologies for my tardiness. I was helping our newest member find the place. Severus Snape, who has recently taken over Horace's old teaching position, will be joining us here in the Order. How dare you bring a Death Eater into my home! Calm down, Sirius. At least let Dumbledore explain. No! I don't have to stand to this! Not with Lily here, and certainly not after what he called you! It's fine, Sirius. I'm married now. And don't forget that, Severus. You're all very charming, but Albus is the only one who has to trust me. Severus has been passing us invaluable information about the innermost workings of Voldemort's circle at great personal risk to his own life. I beseech you all to place the same trust in him that I have. I can't believe you let that gargoyle into my home. I'm so sorry, Lily. If he bothers you, tell me, and I'll get him. Serious, you're being ridiculous. He sat here. There's grease stains all over the couch. Scourgeify. Point still stands. If Dumbledore brought him in here without our permission, he knows where we live now, Remus. Do please sit, darling, and have some cocoa with me. You know, I'm not happy about having Severus here either. Then why didn't you back me up at the meeting? There was no point. Severus was already here, and Dumbledore must have a really good reason for trusting him. That's your problem. You trust Dumbledore way too much. Look where it's gotten us. Look where it got the Pruitts. For Godric's sake. Look where it's gotten you. You and Pete and Lily and James. You're the only ones I trust anymore. And Dorcas called him out, of course. And we still had to finish our patrol. And Severus never did stop making eyes at me. I would call the orders on him. He's a known death eater after all. Serious! Hadford, please, just stop it, alright? Dumbledore told us to trust him, so we have to. Serious is right, though. Seth's stuck in fifth year. I don't care what Dumbledore says. We shouldn't trust him. You should have heard how he talked about the McKinnon so flippantly. And that joke he made about practicing the Cruciatus curse on the dog as a kid. I don't know how Dumbledore thinks we can trust him. I would curse him back the last century if I could. I would have you before you drew your wand. Some of us paid attention in class, you know. Go away. What are you even doing here? Alba sent me here to meet Moody at eight. Oh, uh, that must be him. Let's not have any more talk of cursing fellow Order members. Moody might get it in his head that you are the traitors. I've selected the three of you because this mission requires 
quick thinking, dueling skills, and something you all possess in abundance. Bravery. But if the strangers are holding high tower there, why haven't they used a Fidelius charm? It's a good point. We could be walking into a trap. Voldemort is reluctant to use the Fidelius charm. It's quite complicated, as you know, and he doesn't want to bungle it and be embarrassed in front of his followers. Well, perhaps he doesn't trust his followers as much as Cornelius assumes he does. But why don't we go now? Hightower could be dead by Tuesday. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, the reason he captured Hightower was to brew a particular potion that can only be made during a full moon. Still doesn't rule out a trap. No, it doesn't. But I think the three of you are ready for a more dangerous mission. Perhaps one to take your mind off the more difficult task of familial relationships? I think it's a bit reckless to have both Alice and Frank on it. I mean, they have a baby. What if something They're happens? They're us. They're used to it. I don't mean to disrespect Dumbledore, but I don't like any of it. Can't he just... Why are you here? I have a potion for your boyfriend. What potion? It's Wolfsbane. Since you will be otherwise indisposed during the next full moon, we need something to keep the monster at bay. Don't touch it. I bet you went and poisoned this till you couldn't help yourself. If only Albus would let me. <laughs> it's fine, Sirius. I've taken Wolfsbane a few times before. I know that smell anywhere. If it tastes off, I'll spit it out. No! Serious! Good luck with your next full moon. Just have to bring it by again! I can't. The potion needs to be taken all three days before the full moon. You know that. I, I could go with him instead. No. Sirius needs to learn the consequences of mistrust. If you wanted me to trust him, you could have brought it yourself. I said anyone except for him. Is my own faith in Severus not good enough for you? No! Sirius, see reason. Snivellus might be a Severus? Severus might be a giant overgrown bat. I'll let that one go as I'm rather fond of bats. But uh, he's a member of the Order, same as us. He'd be in for it if he poisoned anyone. A fine Pete. You go with Frank and Alice. I'll stay with Remus. Do me a favor, though. Get back in one piece. to commend Peter Pettigrew and the Longbottoms for their actions in the apprehension of Dollahop and Travers last night. And the strangers continue to elude us, but with those two locked up in Azkaban, that removes two of Voldemort's most loyal minions from the picture. Bravo, Peter! So you got Hightower out, did you? No, we didn't. Rodolphus apparated out there with him, but from what I saw, we stopped him from finishing his potion. So you didn't finish the mission? Don't be unkind, Sirius. Peter helped capture some of the worst of the lot. I would have put a tracking charm on him if I had to. I would have chased him out of there. You're a fool you weren't there, Sirius. I don't need you piling on to. Great job, Pete. You should be proud. I've always wondered whether you are a real Gryffindor or Wormtail, but now I know for sure. Going out. I'm researching this for Dumbledore. You need to feel the sun, come on. It was just the full moon, Sirius. It'll help you feel better. Fine. You should see 
seen Remus smile. I don't think I've seen him smile like that since he got back from the werewolves. I would have come, you know, but nobody invited me. I'm sorry, we didn't want you to feel left out. How do you know I would have felt left out? Well, it was a date, and you're not dating anyone. I've been seeing Mary McDonald. Oh, I didn't know. You would know if you'd asked. I'm sorry, Peter. I know you are. It's not your fault that James did absolutely nothing our last three years in school except scheme to win you over. It's not like that. I love James, genuinely. Remus and Sirius with whatever mess they've built. They love each other too. I just wonder if they need me anymore, if any of you do. We need you, Peter. I know our life might seem like it's on fire right now, but we put it out together. You, me, Remus, and Sirius, and Mary. <laughs> We can all raise little Harry in the world that he deserves. Well, I know certain binding spells similar to the ones the Ministry would use at a wedding, but you won't be able to be officially registered as... You've hardly seen Nev since he was born. No, Augusta is watching him. Between Augusta and Effie, they've been doing all together more than should be expected of any grandmother. They have a point, Alice. You should take a real recovery this time. I'm fine, Frank. Your wife knows what she wants, Frank. Just take a couple days off and you can get right back to making the world a safe place for Neville. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Need any help? No, I didn't think so. I'm just about done. Sorry for uh, sleeping in so, so late. Not at all. You needed it. Uh, if you don't mind my asking, um, is there you and you and Sirius? Yes. Uh, don't don't change anything. Don't worry. I didn't. Hey, would you like to help me carry these in? Well, of course he's worried about me. He says I throw myself into danger without thinking. He sounds like Remus. I'm sorry, I haven't been at any order meetings. Scrimgower has been running me ragged. At least you've been getting to do something useful. I've been babysitting a werewolf. <laughs> you know, I wish you had been there. Uh, Peter, Peter wraps up. Oh, <clears throat> before I forget. Is everything that Augusta sent of Neville? Severus, you know you shouldn't be here. We happen to be here for the same reason. Oh, I can't believe Dumbledore took you on like that. He must have truly gone mad this time. He happens to trust me. Mad, I said. Well, at least I didn't spend the entire year up his robe sleeves, like some people I know. Severus, Peter, back to the old schoolyard taunts, I see. Oh, quite. In fact, I was telling young Pettigrew here that if one plays with werewolves, one is likely to get bitten. You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Snivellus? <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't been turned yet yourself, Sirius. Maybe I'm the one that bites. Oh, you're made for each other, I see. You're sure it's Harry he's after? Yes, I heard it directly from the Dark Lord's lips himself. But Harry's just... The baby? Well, Angus McKinnon was just a baby too, and he was not spared. Everything all right? This doesn't concern you. Of course it does. He's our friend. Peter, Snape was just telling us that... That... You know who has designs on Harry's life. You mean he, wa he wants to kill him? A baby? 
I don't know why that surprises anyone. The Dark Lord despises anything that is helpless. We have to get you hidden right away. I'll, I'll go to Dumbledore. I'll help you pack. Uh, Greenland might be a good choice. Oh, but Australia is warm this time of year. I've already told all of us. He is working on a Fidelius charm for Godric's Hollow as we speak. According to Severus, little Harry Potter is the one Voldemort is after. Lily and James are planning to place him under a Fidelius charm to protect him, much like the one we ourselves have cast on this flat. Lily, James, have you chosen a secret keeper? We have. Once the spell is performed, James will speak the secret keeper's name aloud, and not even I will be able to find the Potters. And now, on to happier business. The of course you chose Sirius. Jealous Mooney. No, he'd be exactly my choice too. James Potter, you should be careful who you choose. Sirius Black is dangerous and unpredictable. Keep your warty nose out of it, Sev. I trust Sirius with my life. Well then let's hope that trust is not misplaced. It doesn't matter, does it? I suppose not. You know, I wonder if Dumbledore ever figured out who's been sending all those letters to Voldemort. You know, I bet that's... I would like to finish writing in private. I don't know why you're so worked up about it. I mean, we both know all of the same people. Remus, you're not writing to the werewolves, are you? No, of course not. I mean, not that they could get letters out there in the trees and They're things. just as civilized as you and me. So you have been writing to the werewolves, even though they support Voldemort? They just support Voldemort. Oh. He says they can eat people. No, he's promised them their rights, which is more than the Ministry stuff. We ain't Voldemort's word now, are we? No, I... Fine. Write to the enemy all you want. Tell them you're dating an appetizer, you know? I taste really good with a little salt and pepper. Secret keeper. Pads, you're my best friend. You'll do great, don't worry. No, I won't. Listen, last night I drew my wand at a pub. A muggle pub. I didn't use it, but it looks kind of like Rossier the night that Gideon and Fabian were killed. I think I just wanted revenge. It was only the one time. No, it wasn't. I've been draining a bottle of auctions every two nights since the Pruitts died. Right. I suppose you could ask Remus to be secret keeper. And let him sell Harry out to the werewolves? He wouldn't. He's been writing them letters. And you've been drinking. <sighs> Look, why don't you ask Peter? Tell no one. Just go along and say that I'm still the secret keeper. No one will find out. Peter was always good at keeping secrets. Better than you, anyway. <laughs> Just give him something to do now that he's the big hero. All right. It's only for a couple of months, and we'll all be back together at the holidays at Hogwarts. Do you think the holiday gathering is wise this year? I mean, there's too many risks. Oh, we'll be there, no matter what. I think we'll all need it after the year we've had. So, that's how the spell's gonna work. After tonight, I just forget where your house is. Just like that, I'll say Sirius Black, and only he will know where we are. Yeah. I guess this is goodbye, then. For now, I'll miss you terribly. 
both of you and Lily. All right, Harry. Say goodbye to your uncles. Bye. Bye, Harry. invited me to join the order, same as you. I have as much right to be here as you do. This is my flat. It is also order headquarters. I'm guessing you offered it in yet another fit of nobility that now you regret? And why are you living in such squalor? Did mummy cut you off? It's a nice place. Or is it because your pet doesn't work and you don't want to show off too much? Rebus is not my pet. Unlike the rest of us, you can just walk away. Win, lose, your wealth and lost name will protect you. You're playing at toy soldiers while everyone else fights for their lives. Why do it? Is it the rush you get every time you cheat death? Unlike you, I actually care about other people. I wonder if that care is reciprocated. <laughs> it's an owl from Weller. Two more werewolves disappeared last weekend. Are you going back? No, I got all the information Dumbledore wanted and you don't want to leave Sirius again. More like I don't want to give him reason to leave me. Do you think he would? I don't know. I mean, he has money. He has his family. And I'm not doing his reputation any favors. I mean, your relationship might be a little bit different, but you're in love, right? Perhaps. You don't sound so sure. I thought I was sure, but I've been thinking. He might be better off. And I might be better off of my own kind. Maybe you would, Mooney. Maybe you would. You've all heard the news, I'm sure. Young Peter Pettigrew never returned home last night. Is he dead? We don't know. The young lady who is expecting him is very worried, but she hasn't heard a word. I was the last one to talk to him. Did he seem worried about anything? No, actually. He seemed excited, buzzing about seeing Mary and all. We'll form several parties and start searching at once. Frank, take Alice and search Diagon Alley in the surrounding areas. Wanda, Andromeda, you two will start with Blackpool. Snape has tipped us off to a lot of Death Eater activity in that area. Remus, Sirius, you two will check the Enclave in Cardiff. And Moody and I will start our search in Hogsmeade and expand from there. The usual search spells should help us at least narrow down his location. Right, let's waste no more time. I guess. Remus. Remus. What if Pete's dead? He's not dead. He can't be. He could be. Any of us at any time. I could be dead by tomorrow. Don't. Any of us at any time. We may not get to say what we want to say. I tell you all the time that I love you. I know, but what if it's too much? What if it's just words? Are you... Are you breaking up with me? No. The opposite. I was thinking that maybe when all this is over, we should ask Dumbledore. We should take him up on his offer. You know, like, like, you know. like a marriage. Yeah, but there's so much more to say. We'll make time to say it later. For now, we need to keep finding Peter. But until then, I have one thing to say. Does Voldemort even want with Peter? I mean, he's not much of a threat, is he? He was surprisingly helpful when we caught Dolhoff and Travers. What the heck he was? Is Frank. Of course, I wasn't thinking. Yes, but Voldemort came after us. It might have been a revenge thing. He was going to take anyone from the Order? Should have been me. Don't say that, Alice. We're Aurors, Frank. The Death Eaters know exactly who we are. It's only a matter of time before Neville's an orphan. Alice! It's true though, isn't it? 
Remus, listen. If something does happen to us, I want you to be Neville's guardian. His godmother. I... I... Mom is doing a perfectly fine job caring for him. Yes, Augusta has been a lifesaver, but... In the long run, don't you think that it would be better for Neville if he was with someone... younger? More patient? I simply must refuse. You know what sort of danger I'd be to a child? The best thing would be for both of you to take Neville and disappear. Go to America. Somewhere safe. Remus. Dumbledore said it himself. Nowhere will be safe for Neville to grow up until Voldemort is defeated. The next installment in our Spells of Fright Halloween special I can do a lot for you. No, it's all right. It's a nice distraction. You sure? I put on a record or something. It's fine. I'm comfortable. I don't want you to get up. She saw the full moon flashing in his eyes. His mouth seemed to be coming toward her as hair sprouted around his neck. His teeth. I wish they stopped doing that. Using world stories to scare old ladies. I don't know. They're pretty scary. No, I mean it. I mean that one time that... Serious? Is it? Do you remember? James and Lily, and the baby. But that's not possible. The spell could only be broken if the house was destroyed. Serious, you're the secret keeper! I have to go! No! Serious! Don't go, Serious! Stay here! Until I wait for you! No! Could you betray them? Your own friends? Murderer! What are you talking about? You betrayed them, didn't you? You lying bastard! I'll kill you in my head! Knox.